Hello everyone, it's Julia here from Inflorescence Designs. For today's tutorial, I am sharing how to make a fun fabric bowl in the shape of a coffee mug. You can find all the materials listed in the description below, as well as a link to the pattern. So let's begin. Start by cutting out the coffee cup template. Trace around the template on your fabric. You can individually trace all seven pieces, or if you're like me, you can fan fold your fabric and cut them out all at the same time. You will need to cut out seven cup pieces for the outer portion of the cup, as well as seven lining pieces. Once all your pieces have been cut out, you will need to sew them together. Sew together all seven cup pieces of both the main and lining fabric using a quarter inch seam allowance. Once you have sewn those, give them a good press. The outer main fabric of the coffee cup has medium weight fusible interfacing. Trace around the fabric you just sewed, and then measure about a quarter of an inch inside your drawn line. Finally, cut out your interfacing on that inner line. Next, adhere the medium weight fusible interfacing to the wrong side of your main outer mug fabric. You will want to repeat the same process you previously just did, but with the craft extra firm interfacing for the lining. Once both your outer fabric and lining have been fused to the interfacing, you will need to sew the ends of the mug together. For the main outer fabric, sew all the way down the fabric. For the lining, leave a gap for turning. Continue the making of your mug by using the larger outer circle and tracing it on the main outer and lining fabrics. You can do each piece separate, but as you can see here, I use ThermaWeb's pattern and stencil spray to hold the fabric together so I could cut it out all at one time. Once you have cut out your fabric circles, you will need to cut out your fusible interfacing. Trace the fusible interfacing using the smaller inner circle. Just remember, the medium weight interfacing is for the outer main fabric and the craft extra firm is for the lining. Cut out your interfacing and fuse to the appropriate fabric circle. This next step is optional, but highly recommended. You could just pin and sew your circles to the bottom of your mug pieces. However, I like to make sure my edges line up as evenly as possible, especially since we are sewing on a curve. To do this, I fold my cup in half and cut a small notch on both sides. I then match those notches up and cut two more. I do the same thing with the circle and then I use those notches to help line up my fabric before pinning. Once you have pinned your circles to the bottom of your cups, 
slowly sew around the bottoms with a quarter of an inch seam. Next, turn your main outer fabric right side out and insert it into the lining, which is still wrong side out. Line up the top edges and once you've done that, you will sew across that top edge with a quarter of an inch seam. Once you have done that, you can then pull the coffee mug right side out through the opening in the lining. You will then need to press the seam of the opening closed and top stitch to secure it. Once your top stitching is in place, you will then push the lining down into the outer portion of the cup. At this point, you have yourself a very nice little bowl, but we're going to take it a step further. Next, we are going to add binding. You can add binding using your preferred method. For me, I use two inch binding and I machine stitch both sides on. Once the binding is on, it is now time to make the handle of your coffee mug. To do this, first fold your fabric in half and make a crease. Then fold over the long raw edges to the center crease and press. And then finally add your fusible fleece to one of the center sections. You will then need to fold over the short raw edges and then continue folding back the creases you just made in the previous steps. Once everything is all folded over, give it a good press and then top stitch down both sides. Let's now add our handle to our mug. Find the seam where you closed the opening in the lining. Pin the handle upside down or with the bottom reaching to the top of your mug and sew a square to secure. Once that is sewn, you will need to fold over your handle and stitch it to the bottom of the mug with a decorative button. <music> 